This is a model called the Ancient by a designer named Zane Rogers. I think it's a great looking model, so I cast one in bronze. In my last video I demonstrated how I cast an aluminum stormtrooper helmet using the lost PLA method. I'll be using the same method to cast this bronze statue. In fact, I cast them at the same time. So if you would like more in-depth information about this process, take a look at that video as well. Like with the Stormtrooper casting, I glued on a 3D printed sprue, but also glued on some thin vents which run from the chin to the top of the sprue, or pouring basin. I coated the statue with 9 coats of ceramic material and sand, followed by one final coat without sand. I then placed the whole thing in my kiln, and after about 40 minutes, I opened it up and pulled out the bulk of the molten plastic, which had dripped out of the ceramic shell. I used a small block of iron to keep the shell in an upright position, and while trying to remove it from the boiling skillet of molten plastic, I accidentally dropped it, causing some plastic to splash onto my leg. It definitely could have been worse, but I'll have to be more careful next time. If you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. After the shell was done baking, I let it cool down and then pulled it out to discover some small cracks. To fix that, I simply painted on some more ceramic material and baked it again. Believe it or not, I needed 10 pounds of bronze to fill this mold. I decided to use 8.5 pounds of copper and 1.5 pounds of pewter, which consists of about 95% tin. It took about 30 minutes to melt the copper, at which point I added in the pewter ingots, followed by some borax powder to act as a flux. Once my bronze was ready, I buried the mold in some sand and poured in the metal.
cooled the casting in a bucket of water and then went to work breaking off the ceramic shell. The majority of the shell broke off and then I cleaned up the rest using my sandblaster. I then cut off the vents and polished the statue with some wire brushes. I really liked the way it looked like this, but I wanted to bring out some more of the detail in the statue. So I experimented with spray painting the whole thing and then removing the paint from the high spots. Satisfied with how that looked, I finished the base by grinding a pattern into it, and it was done. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this, and if you have any suggestions or constructive criticism, I'm happy to hear it. The model I used is available on myminifactory.com. I'll put a link in the description to that. Thanks for watching.